Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back for another episode of Stationeers. And appropriately, the sun is just coming up. That's good timing. So, one of the things I want to try and sort out in this episode um, is the um, solar panel, the um, sun tracking solar panel. I want to try some things, which I thought I might as well do on camera, because I know they made some changes to how the um, the mechanics of this game work and how the sun tracks across the sky and no longer just sort of goes over like that. It now actually goes across the sky depending on the angle of the planet to the sun as if it was a real object and you occasionally see, like I can see at the minute, moons, certainly on Mars you see the moons um, flying across the sky. Um, so yeah, so things have changed and that means how the solar panels track the sun has changed. You've now got to be able to track in the vertical and the horizontal plane to make sure you get the best use of the sun. Now, to do that, you obviously use um, a sensor. So, let's just try some things. So, I'm unsure at the moment if placing a sensor there is any different to placing the sensor there. So what I want to do is just see what the values are. So solar angle on that one is 68, on that one's 156, so there's 90 degrees difference between those two. So to get it right, I believe, for the vertical at least, you need it on a vertical plane. However, the horizontal is 11 degrees and 22 degrees on this one. Oh dear, I'm going to write in power. Um, let me just try something else. Uh, what do I want? What do I want? Come on, brain. I want that. I'll try taking this up. And I will rotate it through 90 degrees. So now what's a solar angle? No, sorry, horizontal angle is minus 75. Oh, let me do that. Compared to 24. So which one do we use? Now I think we need to be using this one but I think that needs to be rotated into a different direction for the horizontal at least. So let's pick that up again. Um, let's... Hydration critical. Oh go away. Let's rotate this. Um, I might move this later on. I'm just doing this, Oop, doing this as a bit of a test at the moment. If I do that facing the same way as that, that would give us a horizontal of 25 degrees. So 25 degrees is that way. So that's obviously wrong. So let's try again. Let's rotate it again. Now we have a horizontal of minus 60 degrees. So if that's zero over there that's going to be minus 60 over 180 isn't it 280 over there you know let me just go and sort this water out before it does my head in oh and i'll get rid of the fog in here it's quite easy to do i just need the I just need the uh, scrubber uh, with a H2 filter. H2O filter, sorry. So you took food at the same time. That's why I do both things at once. Close, lock. Right, uh, and while I'm here, I'm going to dump the rest of that ice in there. So I'm going to make sure I've got plenty of water and it gets out of my backpack. Let's drain this. Right, try again. So what was saying? Yeah, so that one's saying horizontal minus 32 now. So minus 32, so that's zero. Minus 32 has to be about there. Again, uh, is that right or wrong? That actually might be right. So I'll leave that like that for the moment. Um, 
What I do need to do is move these because I realized I've got to have power from the power side of the APU. I can't take it from the solar panel side of the APU. Uh, it won't work. So I do need to move these. Which means I need to remove all this as well. Oh, wrong one. I need that one. And there's two ways of doing it. If you know when you put one of these down, it's 90 degrees out, you could have a little uh, math unit to work out what way it should be going by uh, using a math unit with a math processor and a memory unit. Sorry, a memory unit with the offset mm -hmm. going into a math processor to output the signal. Or you could use two sensors. I think two sensors is the easier way to go. That one will do the vertical, and this one will do the horizontal. And then you only need four um, sort those out over as well. Then you only need four IO kits from the electronic printer. So for IO uh, no I see where is it? Am I using my printer? Yeah, electronics printer. No joking. Logic IO, that's it. So, are we going to print two of them? Let's print another two of them. Quickly. He says, hopefully. Preferably before the sun goes down. Okay, stop that now. Stop. Thank okay. you. And I don't really need them to be on the top there. They could be anywhere really, as long as I can get electricity um, power to them. So I could stick them down here. So I say power comes in from this side. I can literally go one, two, oops. Logic reader, batch writer, uh, batch writer. I need to change the two. Sorry, I just need to change all of these around. Logic reader with the power there. Feeding out to the batch writer. Then I can provide power to these. from over here somehow. I'll work that out in a second. Um, oh yeah, and I will have to run this they can connect it together, they can connect it together and I've got a cable, no not got a cable in there No, no, I'm cabling. Okay, it just makes more cabling. I think I've got plenty of copper in here. Yeah. Similarly, I don't need these to be up here, so I'm going to move these. I don't need to be all the way over here. I just need them close to. One can go there. And the other one can go there. Right, let's pick up some of this cable. Wrong button, sorry about that. Let's 
take that for the time being. Um, and what I will need is the labeler, this tool here. Let me connect it, connect it up first. As long as this is connected to the solar panel network, it doesn't need to be power network, it's a solar panel network. Like so. And now I can give that a name, and that is my vertical daylight sensor. I can't remember to turn this labeler off as it just eats through the battery. And again, this one, I need to connect it up. I'm not saying this is exactly right, I may have to play around with this a bit just to get the, it quite right, but I believe this is the best way of doing it. horizontal daylight into right so now I've got my IO down here once I finish connecting them up So the date, so the input and output of these are all connected to the solar panel network. The power for these four um, units, I'm going to take from down here. I'm going to have to run another cabling through. So that is the power one. So I'm just trying to think the best way of doing this now. Close that. I have power here. I may just run this across because I need. I run it up there. That'll probably be this way. Not the most efficient way of using cabling, but yeah, never mind. It'll do. Actually, I want it one further over. So I can just run it straight across. And up here. Like so. Alright, can I get in here without falling off? Now I need my screwdriver. Power critical. Oh god. Bear with me, Paula. So I should now be able to turn these on, yeah. So, logic reader. The input for this, I want to be the vertical. Vertical daylight sensor. And I want to read the vertical sense from that. Turn that on. I want it to output. I want to put the right tool down there first, so. Batch writer, that's better. <laughs> um, so I don't know, must have flicked too many times. And the input from this wants to be this logic reader. It'll only be one input. 
Um, the output is a solar panel, a solar panel, straight solar panel, solar panel angle that one, solar panel basic or flat is the ones on the top, so solar panel is that one. And I want to output the vertical and turn that on. And there we go, that's not an angle now, but it's pointing the wrong way. So now similar thing with this, uh, we want the input to be the horizontal daylight sensor. And we want the horizontal reading, turn that on. And the output, so the input is going to be that logic reader, it's only thing connected to the input for this chip. The output again is going to be the solar panel, and it's going to be horizontal. Turn that on. Now let's see what does that do. Okay, let's have a look and see what our readings are from our... So the vertical is... 66, 65, which means it's coming around this way when it gets to zero, it will be on the horizon and it'll start going over again. So that one's right. This one is horizontal minus 82. Um, which is, if that's zero, we're talking around about there, which is about right for the sun coming up. So all I need now is the sun to come up to try it. One other thing I'm going to do while I'm here, because it's just better use of energy, is move this solar panel. This side doesn't get much sun. It's not generating a whole lot of energy when it's, um, in the afternoon, so I'm going to move this over here, if I, if I can find space. I could have put it there, but I put the solar, solar sensor there, although I could move a solar sensor. You know what, let me just... I was going to screw up my settings for temporarily, but... is uh, vertical. Confirm. I need to just quickly now go and change this. That's blinking orange because I removed the thing it was connected to. So just quickly. Need to pick. If I press C you can go backwards to the list. Vertical daylight center. Vertical setting. There we go. It's now green again. And I've already got a connection there, so with any luck I can connect this up straight away. Stick some glass on. Now, have I got the 180 out? Which way will the sun come? East. East. Yes, I have. That's actually 180 degrees out. Okay. It's pointing the wrong way. I need it pointing that way. So what that tells me is I need to... I'll tell you this bit of trial and error, just to make sure I've got it right. Remove that. And have it this way. And now I've got to go and just oh, rename it. Sorry. Horizontal daylight center. Which way is north? That way is north, so that pointy bit needs to be pointing north. Okay. 
That's interesting to know. Just have to remember that for next time. And now the input is horizontal. Horizontal, there we go, green, green. Our solar panels swing round. Let's just check. Here's the sun coming up. And straight away, 370 watts of power. And it is tracking to the right, which suggests it's tracking the sun properly. So let's just leave that sort of midday and see how it's doing at midday. In the meantime, can I print another printer? The solar panel. I can. Now I've got set up as a batch writer, I don't need to do anything else. I can just plug these straight into the network and it will automatically start tracking the sun. Um, so some things I did offline, by the way, was I, I moved this um, battery back a bit so I could sort out some of the cabling. I also went mining and got a load of ore. Um, I quickly smelted some, stuck it in here, just so we could um, get things moving. Now what I want is the... Let's put my ignition in. I want a H2O filter. Which is that one there? Have we got it? No, we need some iron. Okay, let's grab some oh, iron and don't put our tool in there because you forget it, you fool. Uh, we may have enough heat in here, I'm not sure. No, we don't, so I'm gonna have to stick some more in. Yes, yeah, it's gonna be tricky. Sort of three. Seven, that'll be enough. That's close enough. There we go. That gets us all. I know. Stick that in there. It's two nine the temperature and pressure. That's fine. And let's print that quickly. Okay. I will stop that for now. Oops. Stop. Which cable I've got only one cable and I need more wire. As I keep saying, you never have enough cabling. That should be enough. And while I'm here, I want a Oh, it's a furnace can here. Here's something I can work out with what. Uh, I want a tank connector. Um, portable gas tank. Portable gas can connector. I want that. I want another cowling. I've got pipes here inside. I think I've got pipes inside for what I want. So let me just check this is tracking the sun properly. Perfect, look at that. So you don't need any of this. You see some people with videos saying, oh, you've got to have a memory chip, you've got to have this, you've got to have that. You don't. The cheapest way is just to use two sensor kits. Have one pointing north, have the other one pointing straight up. The one pointing north is a horizontal. And the one point straight up is a vertical, and it sorts out your yeah, solar panels. Actually, probably this is a more critical one because this will get me power, so I'm just going to quickly. Solar panel. I want that one, and I'll make sure it's all pointing the same way, like so. Glass. 
cabling. Bang, and that will now start trucking as well. And there we go. We're now getting how much is that one collecting? 282. 100% efficiency, 270. So we're getting 500 watts from them too, plus whatever we're getting from these. Let's close that. Go in here. So why did I want this unit? So what I want to do is if you look at this, there are a number of connections. Is it that one I want? Water and gas. So yeah, so you've got water connection on the front left, gas on the top left. So I'm going to rotate that so it's pointing outside. And I then want to connect some pipes up to this. One pipe like that. Uh, pipes can go back and I want my portable scrubber right click to deploy it pick it up and drop it on that base and then with the spanner in your hand you can connect it to that base oh can I get a battery in there do you think yeah I will I'm sure so I want to put the H2O's H2O filter in there. Let's see if I can get this battery in. Or will I have to move it? Oh, I'm get the battery in. Yeah, there we go. Turn it on. And if I open this up, where's the atmosphere? So oh, I don't need to. You can see the H2O is gone. Network analyzer. Atmosphere analyzer. There we go. So if we just Swap this out to prove it. There we go. The H2O is going down. Um, 0 0.232221. That will eventually disappear. So I'll get rid of the water out here, get rid of the fog. Yeah, that's currently been vented in that pipe. So what I need to do, first thing I need to do is swap this um, unit back. Is come out here again. Oh, I may have to drill a little bit here. And stick a cowling on there, and that will just vent the O2 out of there. So the H2O. Well, I need a actually, hold on, bear with me, Lord. I do need that. In there, I just want to check something. No, it's a gas in there. That's fine. It doesn't have a little water droplet at the bottom, so it is a gas. And there's 0 0.0055 mol in there. I think what I've got to do here is just dig around that a little bit, make sure that can vent properly. Pipe network. Yeah, we're well, picking up with the background atmosphere, I think. Frozen H2O, 46%. Do I need a drain? That's going to work, is it? It's done what I wanted to do anyway. It, it's got rid of it. I can now stick other things on there, like a pollution filter. Which will be my next stop, I think. Let's print that. Um, 
Yeah, I printed the logic process and logic memory, and then I realised I didn't need them really, and I could change the way I was doing it. So I'm just going to dump these down here for the moment and put spanner back. The other. Th Was that that venting? I don't know. Something was venting. Um, the other thing I can do is I need to obviously get more gas for my um, jetpack. So I need a. I can't remember what's all called on here, I'm afraid. So bear with me. I need a canister. I just think I need. Oh no, I've got that. Okay. Hydration is always critical. Hey, go and sort my hydration. It's that buzzing out of my wick. Oxygen low. Right. Well, that's sorted. Let's carry on. Yep, so next I need is a bottle filler, which here comes under the, 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 the utility, pipe utility. Just finish this. Okay. I'm going to need a pressure regulator. A golden copper for that. Have I got any golden copper with me? No, I'm going to have to rob this one. There's copper, there's gold. Copper, gold. Let's close that. Um, nope, I'll pick what I want. Build it and go. So, the pressure regulator. Let's see the best way to put this up. Um, oh, it's back to front. <laughs> Fool. I'll tighten them. Put that there. Can I connect this directly to it? No. Okay, so what I can do is rotate it. Um, I need a vent. Passive vent. On pipes. I know I've got pipes inside, but. I'm going to need one, two, three, four ish. Do pass a vent into there. This can cross over that without any problems. Cabling. Into there. Stick the tank in there, and then I can set the pressure regulator. So at the minute, it's sent to 50 kPa. kPa. If I turn this on, you will see that the pressure in the canister is going up, and it will stop to 50 kPa. Now, 50 is way low, but it's just to prove a point. There we go, 50 kPa. 
So it's kilopascals. So really what we want is we need it up in the air tank low. I want to stick it about four and a half thousand. And just leave that to run. And that is now just filling that tank. Just check I have fuel, no power, sorry, that's good. So just leave that to fill that tank. Um one thing I want to look for electronics printer is weather station kit copper and gold so I need to take copper and gold back out of here it's copper and gold or gold and copper put them in there print that because what we don't know is when the storm's coming oh, oh I forget to do that all the time Close the handle, you fool. Right, I can just go in there, I can be turned off. I'll take a while to load out of my short on power and oxygen, so it's one after running, just make sure it can do more than one. Click that. Power, bump, oxygen. Air tank critical. Done. So let me just see that's a bit low. Um well I've got this one I'm looking here. So we've now got thirteen litres of water in there. What's the temperature in this room? Thirty degrees. So we're gonna have to start thinking about air conditioning in here because I want to start planting some things. In fact, while I'm here, hydroponics. Let's stick that down. Where's the port? There it is. Did I bring the water bottle in with me? Here's the water bottle. No, it's outside. That one there. Oh, how are we doing on our 600 and slowly going up? Stick that in there. Open this way the potatoes. There's potatoes. Let's just plant one for the moment. I don't want to waste them. I want to make sure it's growing fine. In total darkness, that will grow once the sun comes up. Gotta make sure it doesn't die so the temperature's okay, there's enough CO2 in here, I know that. If I turn that on, we've got 6% CO2. So just put that over here. And I'll add it, I would swap out that. Okay. So it's another little job started, just make sure you can grow some food. Oop, turn that off. Here's our weather station. Now where do we want our weather station? I typically put it somewhere just out of the way. I'm thinking of ripping this one out. Because I don't really need it. Now I've got these two set up. And f yeah, I might just rip this one out. I don't want to put it down here somewhere. <laughs> Tell you what, for now we just it's quite close to power there. Stick it here. So I don't need to make it. Welding torch, three plastic sheets. One little torch plastic sheets are they out here? Or are they inside? No, nope, there they are. Right now I just need power to it, so cable coil. Chip 
be enough. Switch, where the power and switch. There it is, can't see for looking. So, if that light is green, so that means there's no storm coming. When that turns amber, it means the storm is coming. Now, what I will do later on is I'll connect up the network and I'll stick a big old flashing light up so when there's, I'll know when there's a storm going to come and I'll make sure that I don't have anything lying around. So, anything lying around out here will get blown away by the storm. There's one of the moons up there. See that? Let's put my cursor beside it. You see it moving across the sky. Just as the sun is coming up again. What the solar panel's doing? Yep, pointing the right direction. It's good. Um, okay, so that's been quite successful so far. So we set up our solar panels to track the sun, which I can now just add more to them. I have set all the tracking up for them. I've now added a tank so I can refill my jetpack. Um, I've got any colour paint there? No, left inside. Um, we've set up a weather station so we can see when the next storm is coming. We've got rid of the fog in here by using the scrubber. Oh yeah, I wanted to stick that on there actually and turn it back on. How's that battery doing? Oh, make space in my hand for it. That's flat as a pancake. Swap it out. What oh, a clunk. Do you go clunk? Um, let's just see actually what's in here. So what's in the atmosphere in here? The pollution is going down, you see the bottom left hand side. 0 0.17, 0.16, so that is going into here, which should be venting it outside. I think because that water's frozen there it might not be. What's the pressure in there? So the pressure's not that great in there. So the pressure is actually going down, so it is venting that outside. So there's nothing left in here. Not that it was a dangerous level at that point, by the way. So yeah, so how are these doing in darkness still? Okay, that's because I have that in the way. Hopefully it will start to grow as the sun comes over. I may actually move this and this around a little bit. So let's move that over there. Can't do this without killing my plants. Let's stick this. Come on, spin, spin, spin. There. Poorly towards fruiting. So that's growing at least. It's getting the sun, it's growing. I will get a grow light in here um, shortly. But yeah, um, I think that's been quite a successful session for today. Um, please hit the like, subscribe, comment. Please let me know what you think I'm doing right, what I'm doing long, wrong. I don't just mean within the game, but within these videos. I'm still quite new to this. So anything that can help me improve these video con and the video content would be greatly appreciated. Uh, and for now, that's Dragonfly Gamer out.